And we're hot. You may or may not be able to hear the uh, new washer whirring in the background over there. I've still got to get the uh, effluent drain better than it is, but I think it's well on its way to being good. Yikes. Two people here. Who's here? How we doing, guys? Three people. Gonna bring you up here and... Hey, Steve. First one to comment so far. I don't always remember how to get these back together, so it should be an adventure. I got brand new OEM chain brake handle, steel. Because the other one snapped right here. will fit in there, but I think first I need to put another piece in there. This piece. don't really remember how to do this. <laughs> there is a spring with a pawl here that you have to move out the way. I think I have this backwards. I think I have this 
upside down or backwards or something. Like I said, I forget how to do this. This gets flipped. That. Yeah, there we go. Then we can put that in there, that in there. That sits down. Aha, okay. Hey, hey James. No, I didn't see you. Uh, it's not that you don't count, you're just invisible. You know, don't worry about that. It might be a personal problem, but, you know. There. Now I should be able to put the little e-clip right on there these do tend to fly off into another dimension Now with the spring, hey Mega. Now with the spring, um, this is where the Sarge had a really elegant solution. So I will tip my hat to that guy. Just a regular old nut driver. Small one, three sixteenths. Hey Dan. Hey Tim. Just putting a brake spring on the 660 here. So this, now you can pull this and slide it down. So, yep, just like that. going to tell him that because that will disappoint him and he will get upset. So how about I don't mention that? So he, he, he can he can have one of he can have my pizza. Uh, that's fine. He can but that's his option. That's it. This is a, that's what he has to eat or he can have a peanut butter and jelly. Whatever. And I'm live. Let me go. to it. So that is a pretty slick way of putting the uh, the brake spring in. Does 
this is uh, thanks to John Clark for that. Cool. All right. Um, it sets. You can pop it and reset it. No problem. Good. Lock tight on the old screws here. So what else have you ever been doing? You guys know what I've been doing. Dealing with the, uh, the washing machine. James, are they feeding you tonight? Are you well fed? How many in the audience? <coughs> oh dear. I missed a bunch of stuff. Hang on a second. Enough chatty chatty more work. Yeah, I'm working on it. Does my wallet feel lighter? Why does why would my wallet feel lighter? Oh, because of the that's I, I didn't pay for the parts. It wasn't me. Got a deer farm down just the road from my dad's. Deer farm? Wait, deer are pests up here in Connecticut, so. What other people do about and with deer, it just some doesn't make any sense. 40 so far. Hello to the Faust family. Venice and stew. There we go. If I saw moose in my woods, I would run. <laughs> We've had them in Connecticut. We've had moose in Connecticut, but not many. It's pretty rare. Right here. Just 
touch it. There. I think it'd be pretty cool to see a moose. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one. Maybe in the zoo, but I don't really remember. Just putting the bar plate on here. They're huge. When you put 20 years a day, there's somebody 1,200 pounds plus. Yeah, I, I, I'll bet. I think it'd be cool. All right. That's back. That works. Screens aren't plugged. I'm here, I might as well. I guess if this gas cap is working okay, maybe I'll leave it. But this oil cap is kind of boogered. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna might as well put the new one on. I'll put the new gas cap on. I'll hold hold on to that. Going to his law, they show a lot of moose. Okay. OEM steel caps. Why the spark plug in here as soon as reasonably possible because I don't want anything getting down in there, you know what I mean? Yeah, somebody hit one in, on the Merritt Parkway here. I, I mean, somebody's always taken out a deer, like, every day on the Merritt. Somebody takes out a deer, but... 
because we just have way too many deer here in Connecticut. But a moose, <laughs> that's a bit of a different ball game, you know? So that was kind of an event. Almost done here. Three D three D with the semi. All at the same time? That'd be impressive. I hit two deer with my maxima. Basically, a mile apart from each other, or a difference of, I forget how many miles, but it was a number of years difference, but. Steven Kroon, um, no, those are kind of funky, um, can you not convert that to like a, um, uh, 066 coil or something, like put an 066 flywheel on it, and, I, 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 I forgive me, I really don't know what I'm talking about, but, um, it, 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 ask online, see if you can convert that over, so that it, it's easier to, to do. Hey, David. Been a while. Hey, Earl. I haven't seen you in a bit. fine.
don't think there was a bar on this. I'm just gonna put the clutch cover on. Done. Wrong color saw, it. yeah, I know. So Chainsaw is a genuine HD twelve. Uh what you can't pick those up new? We ran out of half and half, James. Not good. Not good. Well, HD12 is Walbro, but... HD 12B is not available new. That is New Zealand, yeah. No. Where's the metal cup that goes with the screw for the brake handle? Um, Tim, there, there's no cup on this. There's, you're, you're talking about the bell thing. Uh, there's a metal piece internally that holds that. So, yeah, there's a metal piece. Uh, in, uh, hang on. Here's here's the farmer tech one. There's a metal shim right here. So it doesn't need it. Goes in and stops. Tim, you're making me think I forgot something. Oh, I did. <laughs> it's always possible, but... Hey, Ken. You just missed it. Put that 660 back together. All better. There are actually two coffee cups. You missed one, James. Let me go work on the laundry. I'll be right back.
Um, dum 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 dum. Let's see. I've got a 200 here. I got to put a chain back on. Well, there's all, yeah, there's all kinds of reasons. Um, what, what, what kind of uh, compression you got, Mega? Yeah, there's certainly a few things that, that I think of when, you know, I hear that type of stuff. Um, or fuel flow could be, you know, impulse line clogged. There's all kinds of different things it could be. No, no McCulloch's. I'm good. Just no need. No point. You know what I'm saying? There really is no point.
just have to tell him not to drop it again, you know? Lost one. What's going on? I was working on a 660, but, you know, things happen. Uh, I'm not bruised. If you look at my back, there's no bruise. It just feels bruised. There's no purple, thank goodness, but yeah, I don't really care about that. Um, it just internally it feels bruised, but it's certainly feeling better. Um, I actually had my heating pad uh, on uh, this afternoon. I got a nap, did some digging. Get nap first, then went out and dug and did a little bit of uh, screening for dirt, for the post holes. Got a, got a fence I'm working on that's, you know, buggering me. A hot tub would be nice. I don't have one. Yeah, I don't think I'm permanently damaged. It's just bruised. So, yeah, certainly good news. It's definitely uncomfortable, though. <laughs> right, you know what we're missing? A cup of coffee, but I can't make coffee right this second, so I might as well get a cup. Okay, what's up next? Next is the 350, but I don't have e-replacement parts yet. Once that's done, then I can concentrate on probably selling some stuff. Hawkeye Pierce, yes. <laughs> Charles Winchester the third. Or whatever. Yeah, all those guys. I know I know. <laughs> Paul Bunyan show is going, oh that's cool. I'm not sure I'll get start on your build. Keep right yeah, I've it takes me months sometimes to do builds. I mean, you guys know, you can see it. You know, I'm always bringing out a build and be like, oh, shoot, I'm working on this again. And then, oh, I forgot that part, you know, whatever. That 288 that I have for sale, I got a grand worth of parts into. It took me a long time to build it. So, uh, officially, on that note, the uh, 266 and the Jim 394 are officially sold, paid up, good to go. <clears throat> so, the saws that I have now uh, are Larry's 394. I have the 288 for sale. And offhand, I can't think of any others that I want to get rid of. Yeah, Ken, you might have frost tonight. I don't think we will. We don't frost quite as hard as you guys do. My parents down there are in such a secluded valley in Easton that they, they frost like in a heartbeat. I just won in Ontario. Great. Yeah, I started out with the ranchers, and um, that was all kinds of fun. And I, but I spent all kinds of money on getting those up and running, and definitely didn't get my money out of them. Hmm. 
once you have an idea of what's going on, the four five fives are pretty easy to work on. But what I found was a new carburetor for a four five five is like a miracle. <laughs> it really help. Yeah, they clamshell. Yeah, all you gotta do is put the 460 top end on the 455, but the 460 top ends tend to be pretty pricey. And I don't know why they don't make 460 top ends on the aftermarket exclusively, you know? Doesn't make any sense, but they, they only make 455 top ends that I've seen. I'm downstairs and I'm live. Uh, can I call you back? Okay, sounds good. Yep. Yeah, they they now make 465, but that's a completely different song. Uh, okay, so I better go upstairs and see what the family's doing. Um, questions, comments, anything else going, guys? By the way, the 455 Rancher is like one of the most ubiquitous saws on the planet, and you can get parts for that thing like anywhere, so... Um, it's definitely the one nice thing about it, and they're really not too bad to work on. Four sixty five. I don't know. The four sixty five is so new. The four five five Rancher is a, is a design that literally hasn't changed in like twenty years, maybe more. The four sixty five is completely different. I think all kinds of differences on it. So I don't know what fits on what. I've never had one apart. Yeah, the 465 by Auto-Tune, but it's also, like, there's a bunch of other parts that probably just don't fit on a 455. Cummins to get you strike force. Okay. Welcome. And I'm just about to leave. Sorry. <laughs> Clean a Husky 125 carb for a trimmer. Might not be worth your time, Ken. Just get a new carb. No, I, I understand that, Craig, for sure. So spend lots of customer money. I obviously can. <laughs> if your customer is paying, then shoot. 465 is not on. I'm pretty sure it is, Earl. It might not be available. It might be available in both, but I'm pretty. I thought that 465 is auto tune.
There was one at the New York Get Together last year, 2018, and I'm uh, Spike 60 had it. I'm pretty sure it was. I will try to get the item shipped at first of the week. Never got to the south end of town this week. Chris, is that you? It's Chris Kringle. That's Cummins. Strike Force or whatever's going on. I don't know what he's doing there. It's Santa Claus himself. Is that his phone? Great. All right. So, guys, we might have a 288 project uh, come next week. We'll see. So, all right, let me go. Uh, I will catch you guys later. Thanks so much for hanging out. Do appreciate it. Stuck out in the woods. <laughs> He's probably out hunting or something. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for hanging out. Do appreciate it. And uh, we will catch you guys soon. Uh, be safe, everybody. Uh, I'll be on as soon as I can. Take care, guys. Bye. Hi, Craig.